Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number five, or rather, lesson number six. Today is our lesson number six in the series of ten videos on the topic of linear equations. And today is our lesson number 153. Let's take a look at it, see what we have for today. We are told that x plus 5 over 3 minus x plus 2 over 2 plus 2x minus 3 over 5, we are told equals 60, or equals 1. One more time, one more time, we are told that x plus 5 over 3 minus x plus 2 over 2 plus 2x minus 3 over 5 equals 1. What I want you to do right now is to pause the video, solve the problem yourself. Once you have the answer, resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. We'll do together in a few seconds time. Always do that. Make a habit of doing that. I'll give you 5 seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Okay, there we go. All right, the first thing we need to do here, first thing we need to do is somehow figure out a way of getting rid of all of these denominators. These denominators are very annoying. How can, get, how can we get rid of 3 and 2 and 5? Well, what's the smallest number that we can think of? What's the smallest? The least common multiplier is what we're looking for. It's the smallest number that we can think of that's a multiplier of 3, 2, and 5. The smallest number that we can divide evenly by 3, and by 2, and by 5 is 30. 6 times 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 5 is 30. So we're going to multiply this entire equation by 30. We're going to multiply every single term by 30. Multiply the first term by 30, multiply this term by 30, multiply that term by 30. And since we're multiplying this side of the equation by 30, we must multiply that side of the equation by 30 as well. That's it. Now we can get rid of our denominators. Divide top and bottom by 10 and 3 is going to go away and 30 becomes 10. So we end up with 10 times x plus 5. 10 times x plus 5 from here. Divide top and bottom by 2. 2 is going to go away and 30 is going to become 15. And we end up with 15, 15 times x plus 2. There is a minus sign here, right here. Divide top and bottom by 5. 5 is going to drop out and 30 is going to become 6. And we're going to end up with 6 times 2x minus 3. 6 times 2x minus 3 and all of that all of that has to equal the quantity that we see on this side which is 1 times 30 which is 30. That's it. The rest is downhill. 10 times x is 10x. 10 times 5 is 50. Here is a minus sign. Keep your attention. Negative 15 times x is going to be negative 15x and negative 15 times the positive is going to be negative 15 times 2 is 30. Okay, this is where you have to slow down. 6 times 2 is going to be 12 x. And 6 times the negative 3, positive 6 times the negative 3 is going to be negative 18. And this has to equal 30. Now we collect our like terms. We collect our like terms. 10 x minus 15 x is negative 5 x. Negative 5 x and a 12 x is going to be 7 x. 7 x and now all the, all the constant. 50 minus 30. 50 minus 30 is 20, 20 minus 18 is going to be 2. Subtract 2 from both sides, 2 is going to drop out and 7x equals 28, which means x equals 4. What do we do at the end? We have to verify it. We have to put this value back in the original equation and verify it. Let's do it right here. x plus 5, x, x we are claiming to be 4, so 4 plus 5, 4 plus 5 over 3, minus, minus x plus 2, so it's 4 plus 2 over 2, plus 2x, 2x minus 3, 2x, 2 times 
4, it's going to be 8. It's going to be 2 times 4 minus 3 over 8. Over 5 rather. It's just as well that it's over 5 because had it been over 8 we would have been in trouble. You'll see that in a second while. That's it, we're almost done. 4, 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So this is 3. 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Oh, so this 3 is going to cancel out that 3. So this quantity better equal to 1. Let's see if it does. Because that's what we had. We had 1 over here. 2 times, two times 4 is 8. 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 over 5 is 8. Uh, 5 over 5 is 1. Voila. It works. It works. Do you want to do one more? Yes? Well, let's do one more. If you are hell bent on it, who am I to say no? Never stand in the way of a person who is hell bent on doing one more algebra problem. Seven x minus two over eleven minus four minus five x over seven. We are told equals six. Go ahead, do it yourself first. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. One more time. 7x minus 2 over 11 minus 4 minus 5x over 7 equals 6. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself first. We need to be able to get rid of this 11 and 7 from the bottom. The least common multiplier of 11 and 7 is 77. So we're going to multiply this entire equation by 77. I'm going to squeeze this out a little bit to the left here because I need some room here. So I'm going to write that little bit, little bit out equals 6. And now let's multiply this entire equation by 77 times 77 times 77, this has the parentheses around it, so does this one, and times 77. Let's see what we can do. Seventy-seven divided by eleven is seven. So that eleven goes away, and here we end up with seven times seven x minus two. Minus 77 divided by 7 is 11, so it's 11 times 4 minus 5x, 4 minus 5x equals 6 times 77, we're going to have to figure out what 6 times 77 is, we have no choice, let's do it right here, 7, 6 are 42, 2, carry 4, 7, 6 are 42, 42 plus 4 is 46, 462, 400 and 62. So that's 6. That's 6. I'm writing it here. 462. I hope and pray to God that I have not made a what is known as a boo boo. Let's begin. 7 times x is 7 times 7 times 7x seven is going to be 49x. 7 times neg negative 2 is going to be negative 14. Don't forget there's a negative sign here also. So negative 4 times the 4, negative 11, negative 11 times the 4 is going to be negative 44. And negative times the negative is going to become positive. Positive, 11 times 5 is 55. 462. Let's combine the like terms. So we have 55 plus 49. How much is 55 plus 49? If you were to come up to me and ask me out of the blue, how much is 55 plus 49? My answer would be, how the hell do I know? Leave me alone. I know 55 plus 50, that I do know. 55 plus 50 is 105. 55 plus 50 would have been 105. We don't have 50, we have 49, so it's going to be 104. 104x equals 462. And what do we have here? Negative 14, negative 14, and negative 44. So that's going to be negative 50, 68. 
58 rather, negative 58. So this is negative 58. We have to get rid of this negative 58. We're going to add 58 to this side of the equation. We're going to add 58 to this side of the equation. So we can get rid of this 58. We have a negative 14 and negative 44. That's negative 58. It's going to drop out. 104x equals whatever that is. That's a 0, carry 1. 12 is 2, carry 1. Looks like 520. 520. If 104x equals 520, how much do you suppose x is? How much do you suppose x is? It's very simple. It's 100, you see? 104. Think of this as 100. 100 times 5 is 500. 100 times 5 is 500. And 4 times 5 is 20. This amount, 104 times 5 is 520. We need to verify that answer. We can't just leave it there. Let's verify it. Where can we verify it? Let's verify it right here. I'm going to raise this step and we're going to verify it right here. So we are claiming, we are claiming that x equals 5. We are claiming that x equals 5. Let's put it in here. 7 times 5 minus 2 over 11 minus 4 times 4 minus 5 times 5 over 7, you see, 5 times 5 over 7 has to equal the quantity that was given to us, which was 6. That's what we have to show. Let's see what it comes out of here. Okay, stay with me in the story. I'm not going to do every single step. 7 times 5 is 35. 35 minus 2 is 33. 33 divided by 11 is 3. 33 divided by 11 is 3. So this whole quantity comes out with 3. Minus, okay, this is where it's going to get prickly, so pay attention. 4, negative Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25, negative 25 plus the 4 is going to be negative 21. Perhaps I should do it out here, negative 21 over 7. And this guy right here, let's not do it here right now. This guy right here was 75, 35 minus 2. 35 minus 2 is 33, so it was 33 over 11. Let's keep on going. We are almost there. 33 divided by 11 is 3. And here we have minus negative 21 divided by 7. Negative 21 divided by 7 is negative 3. 3 minus a negative 3 is 6. Just like, just like it was supposed to be. Which means our answer is correct. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.